What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga. Computer manufacturers took the introduction of Windows 8 as an invitation to play with and evolve the traditional form of the laptop. One of the systems helping to lead the charge through a large advertising blitz is the IdeaPad Yoga, a system that not only is just a thin, light ultrabook, it actually transforms into one of four different modes for users to play with and work with. So just how well does this convertible ultrabook work? Let's put it through its paces. The Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga is powered by a third generation Intel Core i5-3317U processor running at 1.7 GHz that can be boosted up to 2.6 GHz via turbo. It came with 4 GB of RAM and was supplemented by Intel HD Graphics 4000. It also came with a 128 GB solid state drive, and all content was displayed on a 13.3 inch HD Plus 10 point capacitive multi touch display with a native resolution of 1600 by 900. The system also came with Bluetooth 4.0, HDMI output, a 720p HD webcam, full Wi Fi support, one USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 port, and a 2 on 1 card reader. One of the most striking elements of the Yoga is its system speed and its performance. Computer users have eagerly awaited the mythical instantly on state for a machine, where hitting the power button immediately launches the user to the desktop from a cold boot. The Yoga doesn't yet meet this standard, but it's probably the closest that any laptop has come. With the cold boot, the Yoga started up within 10 seconds, which is simply incredible. Even tablets don't power up this fast, and it definitely speaks to the Lenovo enhanced experience with Windows systems that are faster than other machines. Furthermore, the processor clearly took advantage of the multitasking functionality of Windows 8. Regardless of the number of apps we ran, videos we streamed, or windows we opened, the computer ran flawlessly. It was nice to see how well Windows 8 worked with the Yoga as well. Since it's one of the flagship systems, the integration of the operating system and the computer's hardware is pretty seamless. That includes the basic interaction of the charms and currently running menus, gesture commands, and app functions that Windows 8 is easily known for. In many ways, the experience with the Yoga could easily sway Windows 7 holdouts to upgrade to the new OS. Another thing we really appreciated was the flexibility of the system and its various modes. Ultrabooks are well known for being thin and light computers that have long battery life. The Yoga lives up to its namesake by providing four separate modes that the computer can be configured in. It has a traditional notebook mode, which allows users to get work done or use the system as you traditionally expect. By flipping the screen further backwards, you can put it into stand mode to rest the system on its keyboard to help share media with those around you. Similarly, you can bend the screen and keyboards downwards in an A-frame to put it into tent mode, which is another way that you can share media with people. Finally, you can flip the entire screen onto the back of the system and use it as a tablet, making it one of the largest tablets available on the market. This kind of adjustability is incredible, and it gives you some creativity in how you want to use your computer. There were some additional features that were a nice selling point for the Yoga. While we didn't come close to the 8 hours of battery life that Lenovo claimed you could squeeze from the machine with a full charge, we were able to easily get between 5 and 6 hours based on the apps we were running or the tasks we were trying to accomplish. That's on par with a number of other systems we've tested, which is pretty decent. What did stand out, however, were the speakers, which were very strong with the volume maxed out. Notes were crisp and clean without any distortion regardless of the kind of music we played or the movies we watched. That made music engaging in movies and TV shows very pleasant. We actually had to turn the volume down at times because it actually became too loud. The Yoga, unfortunately, is not the exact path to Nirvana for the Ultrabook class, as it does have a couple of problems preventing it from reaching true enlightenment for laptops. Let's start with the most minor issue, which is that the tent mode, although a nice feature, seems to be a bit extraneous compared to the stand mode. The stand mode gives you access to the screen, is a more stable stand, and it orients the webcam in a more natural manner, at the top of the screen rather than the bottom. There just doesn't seem to be a need for this mode at all. A more significant problem is the solid state storage drive allocation for the Yoga. The system itself only comes with a 128 gig drive, but it's been partitioned into two drives itself, one with 64 gigs and one with 25 gigs. Effectively, thanks to the installation of Windows 8 and the recovery segments on the drive, you lose 39.2 gigabytes of memory at best. Our advice would be to pick up one of the newer, just released Yogas with the 256 gigabyte solid state drive, or try to follow the directions on the Lenovo community forums if you're feeling brave enough to free up space with a clean install. But be warned, there are a lot of people having issues fully solving this space situation without ruining their machines, so it's not for novice computer users. Finally, the system has significant heat and fan issues. For one thing, it has a tendency to run hot. This is a feature that a number of Ultrabooks have demonstrated because the thinner, smaller bodies of the machines pack a lot of components into a very tiny space. 
but using the yoga actually feels warm on the bottom of the computer. The heat only intensifies when you have it plugged in to charge the system, and it's even worse if you have it placed in stand or tablet mode, as heat will radiate through the keyboard and the rear spine of the computer. Speaking from experience, it's particularly unpleasant to hold it in tablet mode during these moments. What's worse is that the fan for the system is constantly running, which helps to push heat out. Now it's not overly loud, in fact, unless you're in a quiet room, you won't notice it. But the always on fan doesn't really cool the system down, making you wonder. If the fan dies with this amount of system heat, will the yoga stop working, or will it go the full Bikram and melt down completely? The Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga is transcendent in breaking the traditional format of computing by converting from a laptop to a tablet in a matter of seconds. It's incredibly fast, responsive, and has great speakers for multimedia presentation. It does remain grounded by its storage issues, its heat and fan problems, and the tent mode which really isn't all that useful. However, if you're looking at what an Ultrabook or a Windows 8 machine can be or even become, the Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga is worthy of attention and recognition, especially by those users that are on the fence as to whether or not they want a laptop or a tablet for their work and their play needs. For these reasons, we decided to give the Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga, be sure to check out techbargains.com slash Lenovo. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube, and to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.